Okay, so this is the Trinity desktop or TDE. What's that? So this is not part of KDE, let me say. There is actually a desktop in KDE that few people know about and I'm gonna to do a video about that uh, on Monday, so stay tuned and su subscribe. But this one isn't. This one is actually a fork, uh, probably mostly maintained by one person of KDE Plasma not actually just KDE back then, KDE 3.5. So pretty old and it's actually shipped on a rather new release of Ubuntu. So I was, I just thought, I mean, let's try it. I mean, that sounds weird. So this is TDE and we've got the menu, we've got buttons, we've got the virtual desktops or what I guess are the virtual desktops. We get a sound every time we switch virtual desktop, which is weird <laughs> to, to say the least. By default, we get Home and Conqueror as the default apps, which is also weird because I thought that Conqueror, ah, yes, this is Conqueror. So, okay, if you open up my files, no, let me close this. If you open up this one, this one actually op opens up, but just on a different location. So it's actually the same application in here. So that's, weird what was that do you hear that so we've also got we've got sounds for everything in here that's so weird so we've got the calendar which we can actually drag around this is interesting maybe maybe that's some kind of improvement uh, or at least a cool idea that uh, kd plasma 5 does not have here we've got the system tray which um, we can move around and uh, looks like it crashed uh, everything crushed. Okay, so we're back. We've got, oh, I hate this. So this is when you, this is when you click on something and a context menu pops up. I, I just hate it. And I cannot even like go away by clicking anywhere else. How do I even like go away? Thank you. This opens up a window. What will this do? We never know. This is, uh, oh, we can actually pop this resolution up much better, much better. Now this looks almost modern. I mean, it doesn't, almost. So this is actually pretty useful. So we can change uh, a lot of useful stuff of the system tray. KDE has always had uh, like a super useful system tray. Oh, well, not this. This was worse, okay. This just brings up K organizer and this is the clipboard. So we've always had clipper actually, I didn't know about that. And that's like it. And in order to move widgets, you just drag and drop them like that and it worked. Can you like, uh, okay, so you just hover over widgets and you just drag and drop them and uh, sometimes it crashes. Okay, so how do you add an application? You go into the panel, right click, add application to panel and you go find the correct application into the right category. This is just bad. <laughs> and you can go remove from panel and then you select the applet and you pick the right applet and you can even select all. This is so wrong, it feels off. So at the new panel, we've got the dock application bar, the external taskbar, what's that? We've got the cast bar, the panel, and the universal sidebar. This is just beautiful. What's the cast bar? Oh, this thing. I didn't know about this. I don't know what that is. So let's try something else. I mean, we've got so many weird panels. So we've got the cast bar and we can remove it from this. And then we can add the universal sidebar, which is like, oh, it's actually a decent sidebar. It sounds, it looks useful. I like it. It looks like a decent uh, sidebar to use. I like it. I, actually, I'm going to keep it. I like the concept. KDE Plasma 5 doesn't have that. Uh, what else? Uh, we've got an external taskbar for, I guess, open apps. Yes, move it. And that's it. Okay, so this is Conqueror. It looks off with the scaling. I mean, icons are very small compared to text. We've got our menu. There is a lot this concept of having this left sidebar that pops up and close. Actually, this is the same exact one. It's actually universal. I I'm shocked. So we actually have a sidebar that is the same exact one inside of applications and a sort of them. 
and it's like wow and you, of course you can navigate through folders using this for some reason the background of conqueror is not a plain color but it's actually a texture which looks bad <laughs> at, at least all of this of course is in my opinion and according to the uh, design standards standards that i grew up with so it's not really fair but my videos never are fair i mean what else do we actually have so we've got games yeah actually kd used to have lots of very nice little games that aren't quite maintained anymore let me see if i can find a nice one to showcase like this one i remember actually playing this one and it was pretty nice and you like select planet and select another planet and then you select how many ships you want to send That's enough and then you end the turn okay it doesn't look beautiful but it works like i promise <laughs> the newer one actually worked a little better so to view images we've got quick show quick sh oh my and okay uh do we actually have any okay i want to take a screenshot how do i take a screenshot k snapshot right so now we save this actually looks just like spectacle somewhat <laughs> let's save it this dialogue looks awfully broken nice i gotta say that these sounds every time you close an application are becoming disturbing okay le let's see if i can actually open up a picture this is a picture uh, <laughs> okay so apparently k snapshot actually got the screenshot broken so okay and we do not have any option uh, from the ui to do anything about this we just have the context menu so we can like rotate stuff and <laughs> look at this in order to change the brightness you go context menu brightness more brightness <laughs> if you need to do this like five times you're gonna learn the contrast more con contrast more con we okay look at this we've got personal time time tracker that sounds actually useful so let's try to use this actually i am now realizing that all apps are actually quite consistent i mean they all have the same ui elements they do follow the theme it works pretty well from that point of view i mean they are kind of broken not actually usable nor pretty but I've seen wars. <laughs> so how do I use this? New, task name, chord, keyboard. Can I change the keyboard layout? We've got the Trinity Control Center, which is of course inside of a context menu and not an application. No, actually we do get it too. And it looks just like on Quero. So yeah, consistent indeed. So peripherals, keyboard. Uh, sorry, what? Okay, uh, it's actually in regional, of course. I shouldn't know that. This this looks just like the keyboard layout settings in KD Plasma 5. So apparently nobody or almost nobody touched them since uh, 3.5, which is not reassuring, but could be worse. Okay, so I actually want a Dvorak, please. Dvorak, lie, close. Task name, subscribe to channel, actually subscribing with the task start it and now it's recording it's not recording anything apparently this is also fun so we've got this and then in files we've got print and then we just get printer settings what are you going to print exactly like what <laughs> not even a preview i gotta say that I am happy that KD got somewhat better at doing names of apps because, I mean, just look at this. K address book, Kexi, KGPG, Basket, which was probably the best name in this list, KPDF, Contact, K organizer, K arm, K presenter, K spread, K word. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, actually, Basket, uh, I've actually used it and it's probably one of the most powerful uh, note-taking apps. I was rather sad to not have the time to properly maintain it, I guess. Uh, I actually did a couple of mer merge requests and uh, uh, there was also some other contributors, but eventually just the project died off and 
AAT is totally my fault. <laughs> and you can actually ju just move things around like this, which looks dope, you can resize them. But of course you prefer, you can also have the like completely normal things. And I actually did a merge request to make basket look like a modern breeze application. And it looked pretty good too, but I mean, it dies. So let's just stop. Oh, I hate this, but I mean, apps still do this. So configure desktop looks weird. <laughs> so we've got background, no picture. So we've got an option not to have any picture and it's going to be blur, blue, okay, of course, of course. And we've actually got just these wallpapers to, to choose from. And if we want more, we've got to click on get new wallpapers here and it requires internet, obviously. Stop, please, no, reject, don't, don't actually. Advanced options, oh my, no, what is this? Okay background icon text so you can okay how do you even ah there is this button i didn't see this button so through this button you can set a custom a custom wallpaper and we actually supported back then setting different wallpapers for each desktop so yeah that's something that's asked often too often <laughs> number of desktop is actually a slider <laughs> and you've got 20 no more than 20. 20 is like the limit. Sorry. <laughs> and we can also choose between a variety of screen savers. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this gives okay that's so cringe <laughs> okay i think that was enough for me like uh, like no more please that's it and let me just say thank you to all of the patrons by the way if you don't see your name through through you actually donated uh, give me a couple of days because i only uh, update the names a couple of days and of course uh, i pre-record this video so there is a tiny bit of a delay, but uh, accept that if you have donated, thank you so much and uh, see you on Monday with the secret, let's say it's a KD Plasma desktop.